A beloved pad along for the ride when a car was stolen is home safe tonight, but it was a nerve wracking time for the dog's owner who is from Inkster. Surveillance video shows the moment the thief seized the opportunity to steal her car with six pound Molly inside. Seven Action News reporter Kimberly Craig has the heartfelt reunion that starts with a lesson learned. Patricia Nash stopped at this restaurant here in Dearborn Heights to pick up some carry out Monday night, and she only stepped away from her vehicle for a few seconds when someone else hopped in. I can't sleep. I went out driving around looking for her, thinking, oh my God, it's so cold outside. Her little paws are going to freeze. Maybe she's hiding because she's scared. When we met up with Patricia, she was devastated because in the back seat of her stolen car was little Molly, her beloved three-year-old Chihuahua. She helped me through my cancer. She helped me through my mom's death. She doesn't leave my side like she's my rock. This is the moment Molly and her car were stolen Monday night in the area of Van Born and Telegraph. Patricia had picked up her carry out but forgot a bag. She left the motor running, walked back into the restaurant. The owner's husband was like, somebody's taking your car. Somebody's taking your car. And I said, what? All I could do was turn around and say, my dog. And just like that, little Molly was gone. And after talking to Dearborn Heights police, Patricia took to Facebook to plead for help while trying not to fear the worst. Did she try to bite them? Did she bark at them? Did they hurt her for barking? Then as we were wrapping up our interview, someone sent her a post of a lost dog. Right is and that her? That is her. Oh my God, it's Molly. That is her. That's Molly. Molly had been found in Melvindale hiding under some bushes near this gas station. Terry King and his wife spotted her, but Molly wouldn't come out to them. But she did come out of the bushes for their big dog, Roscoe. Oh yeah, real nice dog after just soaking wet and scared. Patricia's friends Jorge and his wife Maria were nearby and scooped Molly up to bring her back home. Hi, little you know, mama. I can't get it. Little keep it. Oh, look at that. Patricia, what's it like holding her again? Oh, my God. I could just. I don't even know. The words can't even explain. This is my baby. And when you saw the man that found her, what did you say? I, I just gave him a hug. Give him a hug, and I said, let me, uh, I'm going to give you $50. He said, no, no, no. Well, that's what we're supposed to do. I mean, a lot of people do things for alternative reasons. Mine's because it's the right thing to do. She may not have a car, but Patricia is just thankful to have Molly back. And so is Molly's sister, Millie. I would never leave my keys in the car. I don't even know if I'm going to take my dog for a ride without somebody in the car with us. That's the most devastating experience. It's like somebody taking your own child. Yes. You can't even, there's. It's completely comparable. I mean, this is my kid. Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. A member of the family. Thanks so much, Kim.